Hey, as you start to come on, I want to talk to you a little bit about what are you really doing on Periscope and what's the deal with it? Why should you be here and what can you get from it? That's going to be some of the things we're going to talk about today. So definitely go and share this with everybody that you know so that they can get the same value that you do. It's Linda Cromar coming to you again from Colorado and thanks a lot for visiting and coming on and uh, I wanted to share us uh, hey tell me where you're coming from first where are you in the world <laughs> absolutely hey everybody Michigan yay who else hello 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 <laughs> Texas, UK, South Carolina, absolutely. I'm coming from Colorado, Denver area. Uh, Aurora is uh, part of the Denver area. It's in the suburb on the eastern side. Oregon, hello. Share this with your friends because I am going to share some good stuff today. And I always do. But, um, one of the things I want to teach you is definitely use, you know, have a real plan when you're going to come on a periscope and, and don't waste people's time. So what are some of the things that I have found is useful to me in periscope? And that is that um, I have built a brand new following right here in Periscope that I didn't have before. There's over 2,000. I think it's nearly 2,050. And um, that is pretty cool if you think about it. Brand new people that have never been connected with me and anything else before are now connected to me here. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell me where you're coming from as I'm talking to you. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It is. Absolutely. So what is all this thing about the periscope about now you i'm sure you're seeing a lot of people that hello california hello toronto um i'm sure a lot of you are seeing a lot of people doing kind of silly stuff on periscope and you know what it, you can do that as a side note but i would suggest you make this a real business tool you know what if i'm going to spend the time i'm going to do something of value with it hello everybody thanks for joining i appreciate it and i appreciate the heart so much that kind of gets me rolling <laughs> anyway i wanted to share something probably nobody thinks about too much but um this is my Twitter account, and uh, I've had right around uh, 5,000 followers for kind of static for quite a long time, and I have brand new followers that have come over just because they see the they see all of the stuff going on in Periscope because if you've got your, your Periscope hooked up with Twitter, it will actually uh, tweet your broadcasts when you do them. And for instance, if I go down here a little bit, you'll see that I did one this morning right here. And um, this right here was this morning's broadcast and it tweeted over into my Twitter. Well, because it's doing that, it's also attracting new people. And then another key thing is make sure you're putting in some uh, hashtags when you do it. Now, I don't think I did on this one, but most of the time I actually do because it's really important when people in Twitter are searching, then these words can come up. Uh, they need to be words that are in your niche, the things that you want them to be attracted to. So you got to have a, an idea of what kinds of things they would be interested in. And then another thing I want to point out also is my notifications are blowing up. I've looked at them three times today and there's two new ones again. And what is going on with that is that people are favoriting, uh, sharing, and they are uh, joining me in Twitter because 
of the activity in Periscope. Now, okay, you probably are going to say, but what does that matter and what's that all about? And come on. It's slow here. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Let's have some fun, right? <laughs> so, uh, what does it matter that you have that I have new Twitter people? And you know what? That account was basically kind of dead. I I would send um, I would send my emails through it, you know, when I did that, and I would send my uh, blog posts through there, but mostly. I didn't do anything with it. I've, I don't get on there and talk to people, uh, and yet I'm getting all of this response. People are joining me because of the Periscope activity. So then, the next step to find out why that matters is, I put this up on Facebook earlier, and it, this you want opt-ins. Opt-ins turns into sales. And that is what happens. Now there's a new um, there's a new update, especially for the IO, iOS, I think it's called, our iPhone. And if you haven't gotten that, you want to make sure and do that. Because there's some new cool things that are available. No, I'm not trying to sell you. <laughs> you can come on over anytime to my profile and find out what I do, but that's not what this is about. Um, but what I do is I am an internet marketer, but I help anybody that is building their business. Hello, Tricia. Hey. <laughs> uh, I help anybody that's doing their business uh, build build their business online with tools that and training that we have available. So why does this matter? Number one, look at your, make sure you're updated in your iPhone because of the fact that there's some updates that really are going to help you. For one thing, uh, I didn't put it up here so that I can show you, but you can definitely check it out. When you go to one of your uh, broadcasts on the web from the Twitter account and look at it, you can actually click on your, on your own profile. And if you have a link there on your description, it's clickable now. It was not before. Now it's clickable. And that's pretty cool because that means that you really do have a way kind of offhandedly that people can actually start connecting with you or getting on your list. But uh, I believe eventually they'll probably have some, some way like Instagram does where you can have a link in your profile. But I think the majority of the new accounts like this one are probably not going to ever um, have it where you just put links everywhere. Because you know what? That's just not a good way to do business anyway, is it? Thank you very much for your feedback. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate all the hearts. I've got rainbow hearts coming up. It's real cool. And um, so that's what I wanted to share with you is that you can actually have people, if you put a HTTP link on your profile and make it so that they can see it uh, from the web replay, then they can actually click on that and join you. But you know, I've been getting people to come to my friends and then uh, join me in my newsletter simply because I have it on my profile, even though it's not clickable in a cell phone. So it's really cool. Um, I think people are copying and pasting it and putting it in uh, the... Same. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I did have Android, I changed over to iPhone. Uh, and I don't know when they'll have the updates for the Android, but I'm sure they'll be announcing it because you realize I, Periscope is still really new. It just came out in March, and so that's pretty cool. And also, ask questions and I'll be glad to help. Does it have to be an HTTP? Yeah, it does. Uh, the HTTP at the front of your link is what makes it clickable. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash your, your link name and your dot com. 
Yeah, there should be an Android update too, but uh, it'll be separate. Uh, no, it has to be HTTP, not www, um, because of the fact that that's just a standard for online for things to actually um, uh, be clickable. And it, that's true in Facebook as well. Uh, it's true in, in uh, Twitter. I think it's true in just about all of the, the software, all of the places. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash your thing and then your dot com. Make sure it's no spaces or anything like that. And then it's clickable. I hope that helps. So what did I do to create um, people, uh, the 2,000 followers plus they're starting to have you know they're starting to opt in and they do lead to sales obviously they're brand new so you can't expect a sale on the first day one thing I'm actually seeing is that a lot of people are trying to do a presentation on these periscopes and I recommend that you don't do that yeah there you go Brian thank you and I really recommend that you don't do that because it's actually not a good a good idea because this is all about engagement, uh, building rapport, helping people. No, you have to have the HTTP right in front of that. The rest of your link is good. So what's better, Periscope or Mariscope? You know what? I've never done Maricat, so I can't make a comparison for you. So uh, there are people that have. And you can definitely ask somebody that has. But this is not, this is my first broad, um, broadcast type um, app that I've been party, part of. So, yeah, so I can't make a judgment. So that'll help you, I hope. <laughs> there are people that do have them both. I might do that in the future. But I think that you can get split up so much that you don't have. You don't give good value all over the place and it's better to give value in one place than it is to uh, you know what a real actual business presentation belongs on a webinar and that's what I think you want to do is is uh, bring them to a webinar and uh, or a hangout for that because those are kind of where pe people have been doing them but uh, this could be an intro place. You can just say, we're going to have a presentation over at such and such and say, come on over and check it out. And those that are actually interested, if they built some rapport with you, you could absolutely probably get them going uh, over there. But hangouts and, and webinars are good places to do your presentations. And that's what I suggest. So, yeah, I love the questions. Go ahead. Keep giving me questions. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But what's happening in Periscope is a lot of interaction, like what we're doing right now with you asking questions and me answering them right there and then. Uh, there is no other place except for Mercat that I believe you can do that, and it's pretty cool because of that. Now, what I did to get uh, going this way was I just made it an everyday plan to spend some time on Periscope. Not only did I do my own Periscopes, but I also go to other people's Periscopes. I give them lots of hearts. In fact, I make a standard of 500 each and then, or more usually. <laughs> and then I also, I will follow the people in there and I will make comments that are relevant to the subject of whatever somebody's talking about and you got to participate do you know what I mean you can't be on the sidelines with this you have to really decide to be part of it hello from Puerto Rico that's awesome we got people from all over it's really cool yes she does what are you talking about uh, are you talking about somebody else or me <laughs> Benefits of the hearts. Yes, 500 hearts. Well, the reason why is because uh, Twitter being the owner of Periscope, it's pretty obvious that eventually that's going to matter. And the ones that get the most hearts are going to get the most exposure. That's what I believe is going to happen. Now, we're really new yet, 
So they may not really instigate that right away, but the more hearts you already have in your profile, I believe that's going to really help you. And yes, it gives, giving hearts tells people that you value what you're getting from the person that you are listening to. Now, I truly believe that you want to give people real stuff. You don't want to just, you know, talk turkey because people don't have time for that. You know, we've got a lot of stuff on our plates. And so if you just come in and say, hi, who are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm bored. Keep me happy. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. And, and, you know, I've gotten on a few of those and I go away and I'm sure everybody else does too. <laughs> so to get leads, make sure you have a link with an HTTP on your profile that is, now I, I recommend it's not uh, your business opportunity. I recommend it's your newsletter or your blog, something like that, or it could be your Facebook file. Uh, your tw uh, the Twitter automatically they can find you, but um, I recommend that it is something like that so that they can see you. Now you want to give them good value. I always do my news newsletter because I promise them good stuff in my newsletter too. They get giveaways just from joining my newsletter, and that's on my profile if anybody wants to find out how to get that. So if there aren't any more questions, my husband's waiting to take me to dinner. And I hope you guys have a really awesome night. The last piece is make sure and give people a call to action. This is how you can find me. I have lots of ways that you can con contact me. Uh, I prefer that you come over to Facebook, which is Linda Cromar with a one, and connect with me. <coughs> Sorry. And just give me a note, a message that you found me on Periscope or you went to my Periscope and you would like to connect. And then I will say yes. Let's talk again later. Bye for now.